guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be doing my makeup, but I'm going to be doing it different. So I feel like we all have our regular makeup routines and we all have like a certain way we do things. And so what I thought I'd do today is do everything that I pretty much don't do. So I'm going to be doing everything almost like opposite. I'm going to be trying out some new things. We're just going to go with it. That is basically just what we're going to be doing today. So basically I have my moisturizer right here. This is just where I'm going to put on my face. This is the TikTok makeup hack. You guys have probably seen this everywhere. But basically, they tell you to put your moisturizer on. So that's what I'm going to do. And we are just going to dab some loose powder over top of it. I don't know if I need to let it dry or if we could just go in with the powder. So let's just... I'm just going in with the Ciate London powder. Now it says to kind of let it sit and let it dry before I put my primer on. So we're just gonna move on to brows. I probably won't film this part. I usually go in with a brow pomade. You guys pretty much know that. Today I'm gonna go in with a brow pencil. I used to use brow pencils a long time ago. This is basically what I started with. I feel like it's what everyone starts with because it's the easiest to learn, but I'm not a big fan of them anymore. So we're just gonna go for it. I haven't used this in forever, so I'm gonna warm it up on my hand. And I'm gonna just do it with a pencil and then I will be right back to kind of finish up the face That looks horrible already great. Um My brows look horrible. So hopefully the rest of this makeup will be fine But so now they say to go in with your primer afterwards. So I'm going in with the benefit professional primer now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to, like, know how all of this is because I'm trying so many new, like, different things. So I don't know if any of this is actually going to work out. So I'm thinking I'm not going to do any eye makeup today besides some liner, which you'll see. But I'm thinking I'm going to do that because a lot of the times I do wear, like, makeup on my eyes typically. I'm just not going to do that. Usually I would do that step right now. But we're going to go in with foundation. I'm going to go in just with some regular foundation. It's not my shade, so please don't judge me. But I'm going to to go in with a brush so I never use a brush for foundation I don't like it not a big fan of it I just don't like it um maybe today will change my opinion but we are gonna go in with a brush I literally think I've applied my foundation with a brush once and I don't even know what I'm doing so I just feel like like how do you blend it like I have so many brush strokes on my face right now it's not even funny so now we're gonna go in with concealer I'm just going in with the Fenty Beauty concealer and we're gonna apply that with a brush as well what did we do before we had beauty sponges all right so from afar it doesn't look bad it doesn't look I will say though it looks very dewy like way more dewy than this foundation and stuff usually looks the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna contour I never contour because I just don't, I just don't, um, but this is the AOA Studio Contour Stick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little bit, I think, because I don't really know what I'm doing, so, okay, I just don't like how shiny it is. Let's set it down because I just don't know. Now, I'm gonna do this with a sponge. I sometimes do set my makeup down with a sponge. I haven't in a very long time. But we're going to do that today because I usually put that on with the brush and then put my foundation on with a sponge. So we're just going to kind of switch it up a little bit. It actually looks pretty darn good. It's very full coverage. So if you're into the full coverage look, I feel like this is going to be very good for you. But it does look pretty good. All right, we'll let that sit so that it'll dry so that I can go in with like an actual contour. But we are going to go in with liner so usually yes i do wear liner but i have not worn a black liquid liner in ages so what i think i'm gonna do is just black liner because i would never wear just black liner i feel like it's way too harsh on my situation so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do a little baby wing so i'm probably gonna be off camera i'll just cut this part out and i'll be back with my wings on all right so i'm back my liner is on i just put on some mascara really just Put on some mascara it's whatever i didn't change it we're gonna go in and contour which is something else that i literally never do so i'm gonna go in with the absolute new york contour palette and basically we're just gonna contour i think i'm gonna take the lightest shade just because i'm nervous to contour right here we're gonna do it a little bit like crazy not super crazy but i do want to do it more than i usually 
do because usually I just bronze. Okay, I don't normally contour my nose, which was super weird, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go in with blush because I never go in with blush. I'm trying to find my blush brush, but I'm just gonna go in with this one. This is Bellini from the um, Trip for Two by Wander. All right, so basically we are almost done. I'm gonna go in with the last thing, which is gonna be a nude regular lipstick because I never use a nude regular lipstick at all ever. This is one of my favorites, but I haven't worn it in years because it's just not my thing anymore. So let's just do this. See, it's like really just not really my cup of tea. I could also put a gloss on top if I wanna be super different because I don't ever really wear glosses especially on top of lipsticks because I feel like it really ruins the gloss looking at my face in the mirror it actually looks super natural I look extremely glowy without any highlight which is super weird I feel like it's the bronzer and the contour that really did that my face actually does not look that bad um now that everything is set in, it does look a lot heavier than it typically looks in my opinion. I think that's maybe just because of the brush that I used. Besides that though, it actually looks really, really good, not gonna lie. I have no like brush strokes or anything, which I don't know, like I just never do my makeup like that with a, I like I've always done my makeup with a sponge, so I have no idea how this was supposed to look, but, but to be honest, I do really like the um, base so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did as always give it a thumbs up make sure y'all subscribe before you leave and I will just catch you guys in my next video what? 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 What?